Hey there, welcome to the Feeding Your Fam kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you a really simple recipe for homemade kettle corn. You know that sweet and salty treat you always smell at outdoor markets, at the movie theater, at the farmer's market. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make it at home. It's actually really easy. You don't need any special equipment, no popcorn pan. Today I'm just using a five quart pot with a lid. Make sure you have a lid, otherwise you'll have popcorn everywhere. Let's get started. Okay, you wanna put your pot over medium high heat, get it warming up, and then we're gonna add three tablespoons of coconut oil. Get your oil into the pot and let it just start heating up. I'm using coconut oil. I just like the flavor of it. It actually cooks at a really high temperature as well. But if you wanna use something else like canola oil or vegetable oil, go for it. The little clumps of coconut oil have melted away. So I'm just gonna drop a couple of the yellow corn kernels in there and pop my lid on. Now when you put your lid on, you're just gonna leave a little vent. It needs just a little bit of room for it to steam. And then you're just gonna shake it a little bit. Okay, our kernel popped. There they are, that means our oil is hot enough. So I'm gonna dump in just enough popcorn to cover the bottom of my pan. I usually use about one cup. You just want it to be one kernel deep. And then we're gonna pour in sugar and a good pinch of salt. Just go ahead and give that a quick stir to make sure everybody's covered. This is gonna add that sweet and salty flavor. Okay, we're gonna pop our lid back on, giving it just a little vent again. And then we're gonna shake. Just keep shaking your pot over the heat. This only takes a few minutes and you're gonna start hearing all those kernels start to pop. I know you're gonna to wanna to like shake this like a maraca, but keep it low. There is some boiling hot oil in there. Just keep it going until you hear that popping slow down. I'm gonna turn the heat off and just let it finish popping. Don't take your lid off until you hear it slow down quite a bit. Otherwise, it'll be flying all over the place. And just like that, we made homemade kettle corn. It was so easy. Now you have this sweet, salty, crunchy, delicious treat. It is so much better when it's warm, fresh off the stove. I hope you try this recipe and I hope you love it. Please subscribe and follow along for more family-friendly recipes from Feeding Your Fam. See you next time. I'll just be here eating this pot of popcorn.